What's going on everybody? I'm Dylan. I run Quest for Nostalgia and I teach how I do my 3D printed movie props and things like that. And in this video, I want to see you guys how to weld your parts together. There's no way that I could do something like this full size buster sword on one printer unless you have a belt printer. And so how would you do this, right? So if you've seen the video, I have a video on how I made this. I welded these pieces together and that's what you're gonna have to do a lot of the time. If you have a smaller printer, maybe you started with the Ender 3, you might have to cut things up into small pieces and then weld them back together. And so when I'm using something like this too, I'm doing my full size Iron Man suit, I had to weld these pieces and I do that with a soldering iron. So I wanna teach you guys how I do it, what I focus on and how I get this nice sturdy build of a full thing even though I printed it in multiple parts. Like I said, I use a, a soldering iron to melt this plastic. I just use a really cheap stick one that I got for maybe eight bucks at Walmart. One that I literally only use for melting the plastic. It doesn't have any kind of controls or, or different temperatures. It's just a very, very cheap plug-in. Let it heat up and you're ready to go. When melting the plastic, wear a respirator. I definitely think you need to wear a respirator. I do that for almost anything I'm doing with 3D printing, whether it's sanding or melting the plastic or anything like that. I'm almost always in my respirator when I'm painting. So grab a good respirator and use it often. The first step in welding the pieces together is clean your edges up. I just use 80 grit and I go through and I sand them making sure they're nice and flat. So if there's any layer lines that are kind of stopping it from butting up edge to edge or maybe it has alignment keys or tabs that need to be shaved down just a little bit, just get those edges really nice and flush before you even go into welding it. Some people like to hold it in place to start with super glue. I do not like to have super glue on this while I'm welding. If you hit that kind of crystal of super glue while welding with this soldering iron, it, goes, it gives off a terrible gas. It feels like it burns your eyes. It's just super bad. So I just try not to use super glue for alignment and try to hold it in place. So in order to get them to line up and stay where I want them, I hold them nice and flush and I just literally touch the soldering iron to a small spot. Just poke it in there. That will be enough of a hold to get you to have good alignment, get it all held together so you're not worried about it falling apart again and again as you're doing this. Do a few spots, let that cool down, and then you're ready to roll to start actually getting a really good adhesion. What I'm showing you on here is the Master Chief helmet that I did earlier uh, on my channel. And that has these like alignment tabs that had spots where you could stick in bamboo skewers and align everything up really nicely and things like that. But what it had is these big extra tabs for those alignments and those were great to melt down to have a lot of hold, a lot of plastic that's going to mold together to become one solid piece. Some people like to take their extra, you know, leftover plastic. If you get really low on a roll, take that plastic and then you can melt this to the thing that you're working on as well to add more plastic to make that bond even stronger. I don't do that often, but you can to stop there from being a huge, huge divot. What I like to do is I like to drag the soldering iron along the seam there and then I fold both edges in on themselves. So I fold one over and I fold it over and I do that back and forth to kind of get a mixture of both of the edges of the plastic from both sides there and that gives me a really nice strong hold. I almost think of it as actual welding. You'll see I'll do small circles and get it all kind of mixed up and stirred together and then let that cool down and then it becomes one fused really nice part. After all that, it is so strong and fused together is so nice. The first time I ever did this, I was so impressed by how strong the helmet felt being one piece now, rather than what it used to feel like with either super glue or five minute epoxy that has a terrible smell to it. So I really enjoy the PLA welding and that's how I go about fusing a lot of my pieces I can when I'm not worried about melting, say, a detail piece. I hope this helps you know, I hope you make something really cool, it helps you make something really big. It's really fun to do projects that kind of are mind blowing like that, that are so huge. So I do think it's awesome. I don't know if you guys can even see the, the welding in here, but there's big alignment tabs in this that made it really easy to weld this over. But hopefully that helps you. I've had this question come up a few times by people about how to go about doing it or what's the best glue. And I think that PLA welding is better than any of the glues when you can do it. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. You guys are the backbone of the channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. We're really growing. It's absolutely amazing. And if you guys can see, we're getting really far along all the Mighty Morphin helmets here. I'm working on the yellow now. That's going to be a video that's coming out. I'm very excited about doing that. And then we are just going full steam on the Iron Man suit. So I hope to catch you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Peace.